Hi everyone. Still October 14, 2018. Anybody else have the sense that all the agendas are really accelerating now? They sure are. Well, I'm going to pass along information to you that has been passed along to me. I'm going to be doing videos on uh, this climate change business. Now, some have been posting videos saying, you know, that Hurricane Michael, the reason why was to get everybody convinced that climate change is happening. They have been doing that for years with all of the flooding, with all the tornadoes, with the hurricanes, with the Harveys and the Florences and the fires out in California. Everything is about getting people to finally accept, oh my God, so much is going on and it's got to be related to climate change. They will not do the research so that they could understand that these weather events are deliberate and man has the technology to create weather and they are using it as a weapon. Okay. Uh, some of the information that I'm going to be passing along is information that everybody needs to uh, to have an un uh, to understand what is taking place. So I'm glad that a subscriber linked to Iron Mountain. Um, if you have not seen this video, I recommend highly that you watch it. You will begin to understand this climate change hysteria and the blueprint for tyranny. There's a lot of blueprints out there for the radical changes that we are now living and these blueprints were from many many years ago like decades and decades and decades ago and I do want to say to those who are not religious you just saw um, Christian in the title please have an open mind to listen to information that is extremely important you don't have to be Christian you don't have to be religious to listen to information if you're gonna knock it out completely and just not even go there that means you don't have an open mind okay um, so I'm just letting the very beginning scroll up I hope you've been reading it but in Iron Mountain they actually state that they would be using global warming climate change the deception of global warming and climate change to transform the world and when you see that these articles, mainstream media, they are coming out strong now, pushing the climate change hysteria. The only way to combat lies is, is to keep uh, speaking the truth. And unfortunately, these lies are so unbelievably overwhelming they don't ever stop. Which means those who know the truth have an obligation, have an, a responsibility to speak their truth as loudly as they can to counterbalance the lies. And it's really uh, stunning 
it, it's head spinning. It's overwhelming what we are living. Yeah, it is very disturbing, yet real. We have an awful lot who are lying outright. Then we have an awful lot working in the climate change industry who may believe the lies, but they just become the useful idiots who are working hard to implement an agenda that is tyranny coming at you fast. So if you have not seen Iron Mountain, please watch it and please circulate it. You will understand why all federal law enforcement agencies will be soon merged into one federal police force called the MJTF police. Well, you can do research on MJTF and find out that all of that, that was really um, poof, ramped up during the Obama years, but it has not ceased under Trump. So please don't get you know all crazy oh my god Jesus Christ Lucifer Antichrist Christian what you're crazy Carol no no uh, you may have different beliefs just put that aside listen to the information which is incredibly important so alright now Michael this video that I posted just earlier today I got these comments Glenn Clark left a comment, non-stop flash flooding in Virginia since Wednesday night, eight dead from tornadoes and trees falling, etc. Lots of public housing, dirt poor, losing their food, cold winter uh, weather that instantly started Thursday. Yeah, we got cold weather here that it's like it's 96 degrees when it shouldn't be and then suddenly you, you have this temperature dropping drastically like 50 degrees um, started Thursday the cold weather just complete bedlam thousands of down large trees close to half million out of power in Virginia uh, power says they are restoring based on priority. Police, government, hospitals, military get top priority. Um, and I guess he has a sleep ham radio friends all over Virginia. They're on generators and still call me crazy. It's just all normal weather to them and they are buying the horrible mainstream version. So sad. It's not just sad. It is maddening that people refuse to act like adults and engage in, call, in conversation like adults. You know, when you, and I'm sure many of you experience this. It hasn't gotten better. But it's the closed minds, it's the minds that have that confirmation bias operating. Whatever their belief is, that's the information that they allow in. The information that conflicts with that belief, they don't allow in. And that is the mark of a very unintelligent human being regardless of their degrees. It does not matter. And many people who have degrees are really profoundly ignorant and are not using their brains properly. Uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, uh, Bethiana Station Road and Shatlin Road, Shadowland Road, they were evacuated, all flooded out, 
parts of Rinaldo Road closed due to severe flood when Michael hit, but it was around 9 p.m. All roads going east to Kernersville were closed due to down trees and on or flooding. I'm sorry. There are still road closures in downtown Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I still have not heard from Cass. So, having heard from others who are in western North Carolina where Cass is, some are just getting their power back on. So she may have lost power and I hope that that's all Cass is experiencing. Now, I want to I'll link below to my playlist that I started just, I don't know, two weeks ago of the flooding that has occurred. And I think I've included a couple of videos that I've done maybe after Harvey. But most of these videos are from this year. And I have not been able to get all of the flooding. The flooding around the world that is happening at the exact same time that we are experiencing flash flooding all over the place, it's, it really truly is um, pretty overwhelming. But I also include videos, connect dots, weather events, depopulation, employment opportunities, mega regions, the Hyperloop, and I believe this was in relation to the Hyperloop, the talk of the Hyperloop in uh, the Texas Triangle mega region. FEMA buyout flooded homes, no rebuilding, create green space in Agenda 2030 50 mega regions. You can't just look at these weather events, understand that it is man creating them without having yeah, a foundation of knowledge of all of the agendas that are taking place because everything is connected. But massive flooding, um, I put together compilations of flooding that was occurring starting back in the upper peninsula where that flooding, well, the roads just caved in, crumpled up, bridges down, flat rain did not cause this, so they're using frequencies to bring that about. Texas Weather Modification Advisory Board admits it can make a ton of rain. Man-made storms, um, havoc all over, sewage spills, oil spills, beaches closed, crop damage, and the compilations were really just a week of showing you all of the flash flooding occurring all over the country in particular. Some compilations include flooding in different countries. The big picture flash flooding around the world resulted in massive destruction. Flash flooding across the United States June 18 just in 10 days. And it's not even the complete big picture. I'm trying to get you to see the big picture that all of this is brought about. Depopulation, destroy, um, destroy Americans. I can't believe I'm, I just looked out the window and I just see this huge weird pink cloud. Um, to uh, remove people from certain areas of the country to move them into mega regions to buy their flooded homes or farms or property out FEMA is doing a lot of buyouts and then they don't allow any kind of um, building up they they have very tight restrictions for that land that they buy out but this has been going on for many, many years. But it's also to pummel into your brain. It's climate change. Damn it. Believe it. And so I've posted a lot just on floods. All of these are my videos. All of them. 
all of them. And you know what? Most of them are just this year, just flooding. Just one weather event, flooding. And then I stopped doing the compilations because they take an awful lot of time. I'm still not done with mine. All of those videos were mine. And then I start significant flooding, Bushland, Texas, uh, Amarillo, Missouri, Colorado, um, California, in Menifee, California, um, Sicily, Italy. Uh, the flooding around the world has been unbelievable. Philippines, typhoon. These are recent videos, like within the last week. Flooding in, in Virginia. Um, this was horrific. This flooding in Mallorca. Um, it's, it's just, you see this. I'm telling you, this kind of flooding, it's almost going on every single day. Every single day, people are being wiped out. So these agendas, and using weather as a weapon, has absolutely accelerated. And you can wait for the arrests, you know, that Q is promising will come, but it doesn't matter. People are being destroyed every single day. That's not, the, the arrests are not going to stop all of this. Iran. Uh, junction flooding, which was in Texas just a couple of days ago. Drake's Branch, Virginia. Honduras. Haiti had another earthquake. Um, Kansas, major flooding. Texas and Pennsylvania and Virginia and Malta. Please understand, they are taking out more and more people every single day while everybody is just concentrating on, you know, what's happening in the matrix and the parties, the red-blue teams and what they are doing and Trump and all this. There are so many events that are taking place and some of these videos are just absolutely horrific. Indonesia, India, Iran, Kerala, Spain, um, and many are displaced, dead, lives destroyed due to their homes being washed away. Yeah, and it would be more and more exciting if I showed you all of these, you know, horrific things in a compilation, but you know what? I don't have it in me. Um, a subscriber left me this link. U.S. Air Force admits they can control the weather. So I'm just passing it along. Yes, there are many, many patents on controlling the weather method and apparatus for altering a region in the Earth's atmosphere, ionosphere, and or magnetosphere. And it doesn't matter. Facts and evidence don't seem to have any play today. My opinion's good enough. And they also talk about how these frequencies can con alter human behavior. And I have to tell you, human behavior, something is really happening in that arena as well, because people are just not right. The fire in California I know about. The Masonic fire. Interesting name for that fire. Uh, Redding, California. And I've tried to get uh, updated information on the Masonic fire because it's on Masonic Avenue, Lake Boulevard, evacuations ordered. Uh, so far, 0% contained. Will the winds pick up and suddenly this fire then just explodes and all of you will have no electricity because PG&E has decided to turn off the electricity? 
when you have high winds, this is what we're really living. It is it is shocking that Americans are not able to think clearly about what is taking place. 30 acre fire in Reading forces neighborhood evacuations. So you can read about uh, the evacuations and you can um, read about how people are on edge. Yeah, people are on edge. They're getting hit over and over and over again whether it's fires or flash flooding. You know, many of the flash floods that we're seeing are in the same areas. So when you, when you just think about the magnitude, how many people are feeling, you know, the consequences of what is taking place, and then recognize that the economy, I'm sorry, has not just miraculously turned around in less than two years of Trump. You've known throughout the eight years of Obama how many people were destroyed. And the jobs, service sector jobs, um, you know that there's a lot of people that cannot recover from what they are experiencing. Here, fire does 300,000 worth of damage to business. And, you know, what are they on edge for? Because apparently these fires are being started by arsonists. Cottonwood residents packed the city's community center Friday night to figure out how to stop the suspected serial arsonist who's been lighting fires downtown. And this is in Redding, California. Shasta County. Um, well, it may very well be an arsonist, but people are being hurt. And you can check out the California fire map. There's still quite a lot of fires. Unfortunately, there's a lot of fires that are not Cal Fire incidents, so you got to click on um, these incident reports and um, get the information. But a lot of the fires that we saw months ago are still going on. They can't seem to put them out. Uh, let's see, the Natchez fire, it's still going. I think it's 89% contained. Now, all of this is related to climate change, right? All right, but I just also wanted to show you this. California is running out of inmates to fight its fires. Um, this was back in December 2017. They're letting you know that more fires are coming with less manpower to fight them. So this, uh, you know, climate hysteria Climate alarmists admit they want to dismantle our free enterprise system. I want to thank my subscriber for sending this along. So, the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel, it's not an interscientific panel, it's an intergovernmental panel where they, on that panel, create policy. And they publish science that couldn't be more false. Every assessment that has come out of the IPCC, you have had independent scientists come out very quickly showing the flaws in their science. But it still goes on, and still you see mainstream media claiming that the IPCC is the scientific panel that everyone should only pay attention to. No other panel, no other scientists, only the IPCC. Well, most people don't understand that the United Nations is implementing Agenda 2030 throughout the world. And 
when you see the United Nations for what they really are, for what this organization truly is, it is not a kumbaya, hey, let's all dance and, and you know, uh, chant for peace. This is a very evil organization that was established for and has been implementing a new world tyrannical order for all of us to live. And the IPCC is there to put out the false science and to hit you with all of these dire warnings that we've got to do something. Because you know what? If we don't do anything within the next 12 years, oh, hmm, 2018 plus 12 is 2030, Agenda 2030. Then humanity, the globe, the, oh, sorry, don't leave a comment. It's not a globe. Okay. Um, Earth is just going to be destroyed. We only have 12 years. And people claim that we fear monger on YouTube. <laughs> Please. So the solution is to tear down the global free enterprise system responsible for human flourishing and raising levels of prosperity for billions of people. That's right. The world's top scientists just gave rigorous backing to systematically dismantle capitalism as a key requirement to maintaining civilization and a habitable planet? You're kidding. They're not kidding. You know, all right, I'm going to leave you with this. The IPCC is still wrong on climate change. Yes? Every assessment, you have Nobel laureates, you have physicists, you have climate scientists, you have, you have up the wazoo scientists coming out saying the IPCC, their assessments are dribble. It's all about politics and it's all about money. And I'm going to be doing a video just reading quotes from so many scientists who have come out strong against the IPCC. We've got to somehow carry the truth forward, make it very loud to people, because I am so sick of these lies. It's, it's so... Now the lies are so unbelievably outrageous. And anybody with a working brain cell really should be able to see through what is happening. But those who just don't care and don't want to see through it because they don't want to change and they just want to live their lives comfortably. You know, it. the fear in so many people is really um, astonishing to see how many children we have who are just too frightened to examine that they could be being lied to and then face the truth. Um, so I just wanted to give you this information, um, don't know when I can get my videos up, so you can get a head start and read them. But do not think for one moment that there are not a lot of people who literally every day experience the consequences of these well, subhumans who are destroying people's lives. Whether it is a weather event or the economy, whatever it is, their health, um, you know, somehow, I just wish that we could come together, help one another, help one another stay strong, help one another recover from these events, 
not have to rely on government and donations from the Red Cross that the victims never see. All links are below.